wondering if you were coming back. This area is strange, you know? I keep getting odd readings. There's a signal that came right up to this place, and then turned around and left. Maybe I'm reading too much into these scanner signals. It's hard to concentrate with these headaches. It seems like after the signal approached this place, it just spun around and took off. Strange. Sudden. Think you could just sneak over there and poke your head in? If they seem problematic, maybe stop them somehow? I don't know. Okay, just be careful. I wish I could tell what it is. It just seems so unnatural. But what does that mean in a world like this? Listen, this could be a trap, or it could be just a big misunderstanding. I can't really say for sure. Just be careful. Affirmative. Out. All right, so this is another quest for our astronaut commander. So we are in the back end. All right, I've got a nocturnal Gauss rifle delivers bolts of energy. Robot up there. Can I get up? All right. Let's see if we can take these guys out. Get them off in one shot. I'm a little surprised by that. Oh, okay. It's nighttime, so my Gauss rifle is dealing 290 uh, points or units of damage. to say a salt room.
must be daylight because my gun just dropped significantly in its damage level. Okay, so it says return to the commander. Let's have a look. Yep, nothing long, anything longer here. So all we had to do was deal with an assaultron. Let's jump back. Well, someone's in the area. Always stop at the Sanatron. Try to remember that. See what he's collected out in his roaming activities. Two wire purifiers producing two each, so six purified water. Who's this person? Dr. Emerson Hale. I simply cannot believe she's returned. It's been such a long time. To have survived all she has. Remarkable. To have survived all she has. Remarkable. Evaluating naughty rebels. Evaluation. I simply Don't cannot leave. believe she's returned. Naughtiness levels exceed all projections. It's been Marketing. such a long time. I simply cannot believe she's returned. Okay, I'm not sure what these uh, moments hey. are there. Good to see you again. Is is this a friend of yours? Who who are you? You seem so familiar. Well, you look exactly the same. I never believed... <laughs> I wondered who picked up my beacon. Well, I'll be damned. Emerson? 
Dr. Emerson Hale. Is that... Is that you? Welcome. Back to Earth. I guess. Welcome to Appalachia. I don't even know what to say. I never expected to see you here. My ship crashed a while ago, and I was fortunate to find someone who took me in. I'm trying to find my crew, but I've had some horrible headaches. So, you're staying at this uh, place. I guess you really decided to jump into modern Appalachian life, huh? So, let's see. I'm open to this uh, friend. So, my options are I'm open to decorating suggestions. Friend, hey, come on. It's not much, but it's my home. You, I'm going with this one. I'm proud no of it. No offense intended, friend. I live in an old military base, so I'm not one to talk about anybody's creativity. I hope your good Samaritan here has helped you out with more than just a place to, uh, crash. He has helped me out quite a lot already, actually. Brought back a USSA beacon, and also took care of some hostile robots. I see. Well, is there anything I can help with while I'm here? Supplies? Medicines? Questions, I guess? See, options. Can you help find the commander's crew? Very convenient that you're here in Appalachia. Was that your beacon? Let's ask about that. Sure is. For a while, I had hoped I could contact somebody else to monitor the deep sleep mission until uh, we could yeah, figure something present. out. Loading gear. Unpacking. Mm. Suspect her escape ship's autopilot sent the ship on a trajectory to any known USSA location using its uh, admittedly very old data. Um, they weren't in the escape capsule, I take it? Well, that is unfortunate. They could have survived, though, right? Maybe. I've heard a couple scavengers say that parts of the ship have already been scrapped. Same goes for any other ship to bring. Best to just move on. It's honestly shocking that you survived as it is. I'm serious. So let's see my options. You know anything about that hostile USSA robot? Can you help with the commander's headaches? And why did her ship crash? Well, let's ask about the headaches. We had some emergence kits back in the day. They were specifically designed to help people emerge from deep sleep. I'm glad I could find some of those. Well, that's that's a the robot. There. Seems that their algorithms got scrambled or something. Who can say? They used to come after me. But it seems like they have a higher priority target now. Expand your scanner to look for signatures at a constant speed. That should pick them up. They aren't that complicated. So this is just gonna happen all the time? Thanks for the tip, I guess. That's good. I'm glad you're making friends already. I am too. So much has changed. I mean, you know better than most. Care to catch me up to speed? <laughs> uh, that will be quite the chat. You've missed a lot. And I still don't really get what happened either. But that's a talk for another time, perhaps. Anyway, look, I need to go. I'll be back another time and we can chat some more. Okay? Okay, Emerson. Dear Emerson, my friend and I have a signal to track down. Looks like it might be some ship debris. So come back later if you want to know what we found. Mm hmm. Bye now. It was an Assaultron, huh? It's probably one of the old USSA robots. Strange. I would have figured they would all be in standby mode now. But... I need to know for sure. I found some wreckage from the rest of the ship that has one of their suit beacons. Maybe 
several of them are there. Can you go and see what's there? It might just be empty wreckage, but I need to know. Let's see, options. I'll search the wreckage for my si for any signs for your crew. Maybe someone found them and they're safe somewhere. Is this signal from the flight recorder data? And then I can't right now, maybe later. Okay, we'll ask about that. Yes, I believe the other crew members were in a separate part of the ship. The signal moved a bit. Could be survivors, could be scavengers. What are the chances they also ran into a benevolent Appalachian survivor who invited them to live in a charming wilderness abode? If you do find them, then we'll have to make room for them here, right? Uh, bunk beds, maybe? There would be three others, you know. It's possible that you won't find anything there. It might just be rubble, or maybe it's been scavenged by animals. It's hard to know. In the meantime, I picked up an issue of The Unstoppables from a visiting trader the other day. Eh, maybe it'll help me relax. Uh. Let's ask about Emerson. He used to work with me at the USSA. Seems like he started working elsewhere after I went to space sometime. I never expected to see him here, but... Uh, I never expected to be in Appalachia, either. It makes me wonder about why my ship crashed here, you know? I know it had emergency landing protocols to take it somewhere near certain USSA sites, but... I don't know. I never thought I needed to know. Yeah, of course! The Unstoppables, Silver Shroud, all of that. Mistress of Mystery was my favorite, of course. I was hoping that the new television show for the Mistress of Mystery would be out when I return. But, guess not. Uh. I wish I knew. My ship's robots certainly didn't care about me at all. It didn't even check on me, and I know it saw me. For an hour, maybe. Just before getting into our deep sleep pods, the Earth was stunning. Hanging there, alone, in the void of stars. Oh, I felt like I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. But also, I didn't want to. Roger. Stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> 